Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Arfin and today we are going to calculate convexity of a bond. So let's start it. Now what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to use my previous video which uh, I used for the calculation of duration and modified duration. So let's start. Before I'm gonna write a code, what I'm going to do here, I will just give you a very quick recap that what I have done uh, previously. Also, I would appreciate if you have any issue, any confusion, just go back to my previous uh, video and have a quick look. What I will do is I will also share the link of my previous video uh, in the description below. So first I have imported library and then I write a function which is duration rate, which is yield rate, uh, coupon rate, frequency or M, whatever you say. Uh, face value, settlement date, maturity date. Here I have uh, used try and accept. Here I'm passing two different type of uh, date format. It could be uh, with a slash or it could be with hyphen. So both the dates will be acceptable for both settlement date and maturity date. And then I have defined data as a data frame. Uh, so I'm converting rate in decimal. Similarly, I'm also converting coupon rate in decimal. So N is the total number of air, total payment, which is N into frequency. So let's say if N is four years and frequency is two, which is semi-annual payment. So we will get the total payment. And then here we have coupon payment. Here I'm putting the payment schedule uh, in this particular column. What I'm doing is I'm uh, putting the number of payment. And we have already calculated payment. So I'm converting this payment into the data frame, which is uh, pt.data frame of payment. And here I'm discounting the coupon payment. And then I'm calculating the present value of this discounted coupon. And then I have calculated duration as a sum of present value. And modified duration is equal to duration divided by one plus rate over frequency. And then I'm returning duration and modified duration. So here I'm just going to add very few line of code. First of all, let me bring the formula of convexity here for you. So it's going to be more easy and clear that what exactly we need to calculate. So here we got the convexity formula. So there are two factors. Number one, this one divided by P, which is price into one plus E raised to power two, which is square into summation of t is equal to one to capital T, which is the total time period, a uh, cash flow divided by one plus y raised to power t, which is the total number of time period into t square, the total time period plus t. So first I'm going to say, I'm going to calculate factor, which gonna be one divided by price, which is data d coupon dot sum multiply by one plus yield which is gonna be rate divided by frequency square so i'm going to create a series of cash flow assume i'm calling this part as a cash flow so it will be data could be coupon into i'm just going to copy this and paste it here square plus it's, it's already copied so i just paste it here like this divided by this factor which is one plus yield raised to power t so it's gonna be one plus rate divided by frequency raised to power data period which is t so and then now convexity will be equal to multiply by data cf dot sum comma convexity let's run this all right this is our duration this is our modified duration and here we got the convexity of a bond so let's say if we want to have four year bond it will be this we can also print data and this perfect so we have calculated duration, modified duration, convexity, and this is the payment schedule of a bond. So here we have period payment, which is coupon payment, discounted coupon payment, present value, and cash flow. So that's all for today. Hope it is helpful for you. 
And if you just look at this, so within three line of code, we are able to calculate convexity. Hope you like the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much.